Why should you value every second in learning? When you value time, you know how meaningful life is. Prioritize and do the things that are important to you. And if I think it will be better. You can't buy more time, no matter how rich you are. And you can't save time either. You can only spend it. Time waits for no one, so the sooner you start to value your time, the better. Here are five things that can help you start appreciating your time and your life. One, set your priorities straight. Priorities are very important, but we often forget them. If you want to start valuing your time, you need to set priorities straight. Ask yourself what is really important to you and start making time for those things. Ask yourself, what do I want to do, achieve, and experience in life? Who and what is most important to me? What makes me happy? Two, realize the importance of limited time. We all have limited time in this world, and we should make the most of it. In a limited time, provides so many benefits for this life. It makes things more valuable. And when you begin to understand that life is precious, time becomes more valuable to you. In addition. It also makes you more aware of your death. It might sound sad, but it's not. It is actually very liberating. Just think about it. If you knew you were going to die soon, what would you do? You will definitely do whatever you prioritize now, so you don't end up regretting how you spent your time. We never know when we will die, so the best thing we can do is live each day as if it were our last. Three, focus on what's bothering you and get rid of it. We all have distractions, whether it's social media, Netflix, video games, or something else. The best way is to get rid of all these distractions. If your distraction is social media, you should avoid it for a while. That doesn't mean you shouldn't use social media, but you should be wiser in social media. Decide to use the internet only for work, seeking useful information and research. No more aimless searching. Four, consciously choose one thing to do, even though there are many activities you can do. Sometimes you know you have to do something, but you ask yourself, "Do I really have to?" But I can do something else. This is a common feeling. Sometimes we have so many options that it's hard to pick one. But do the job. Choose what you find useful. It doesn't matter if it's the right choice or not. There's no such thing as right when it comes to how you spend your time. But we need to make a choice. So pick one thing and do it. You will feel much more focused because you know where you are going. For example, I created this content. I could do a million other things, but I choose to do this, and it tastes great. I agree, and I'm focused because I don't think about anything else I can do. Five, know that failure is a sign that you are using your time well. When we start a job or activity, we want to do it perfectly. We have to be the best; otherwise, we will think that it is a waste of time. In reality, you cannot prevent failure. You will still feel like a failure, but don't worry. That's a good thing. Failure is a sign that you are trying something new, that you are pushing your limits, learning and growing. How can we maximize our failures? First, accept the failure. Don't try to bury your failures or pretend they never happened. Acknowledge and learn from it. Second. Put things in perspective. This one chance didn't work out, but it wasn't the end. Focus on success in your failure. Chances are something good is coming from it, even if you can't see it yet. I hope this will make you appreciate your time more. Remember that time waits for no one. Remember that it cannot be controlled. Remember that you cannot return it. You can only spend it wisely.